This project is about the development of trajectory tracking and pick and place tasks for the Arduino branch. The Arduino Braccio is an anthropomorphic manipulator composed of four links, an end effector and six revolute joints, which are the base, shoulder, elbow, two joints for the wrist movement and one joint to control the gripper. To control the six servo motors simultaneously, the kit provides a shield for the Arduino board and an additional 5V power supply. First of all, we tested some solutions in simulation, using the MATLAB Robotics Toolbox to make the robot follow a trajectory in the workspace. To import a model of the Arduino Braccio in MATLAB, we used an URDF file, which contains a complete description of the geometry and connections of the manipulator. We obtained the following model. To generate a trajectory in the workspace, first define a set of random waypoints, and we interpolate them to create a continuous function. Lastly, we generate a finite number of points on the function to obtain a discrete trajectory. For every point of the trajectory, we need to solve the inverse kinematics problem to obtain the joint configuration needed to reach every point. We can use the inverse kinematics solver provided by the MATLAB Robotics Toolbox and set up a recursive algorithm. We obtain a matrix that contains the joint configurations needed for every point of the trajectory. We also simulated the same solution in Simulink. We used the forward and inverse kinematics blocks from the MATLAB Robotics Toolbox and the Virtual Reality Toolbox. Here we can see a direct comparison between the two simulations. We set a difference in the movement speed of the robot. Both solutions provide a good tracking of the trajectory. Using the joint configurations matrix, we can also define a signal for every motor to implement the solution on the hardware, but the result is not optimal. In fact, we can see that the tracking is not exactly smooth. We then tried to use the same solutions to program the pick and place task. However, the forward and inverse kinematics blocks from the MATLAB Robotics Toolbox and the function used to generate the trajectory don't support code generation for Arduino. So, we had to come up with our own solutions. About the forward kinematics, we used the um, dynamic Hardenberg parameters to calculate every transformation matrices, and then we multiply them. As of inverse kinematics, we first compute the angle of the base of the robot, and every other angle is calculated using planar kinematics. To implement these algorithms, we use the system objects. We can define links and joints as two different objects, and we can define a class that is the robot itself. The forward and inverse kinematics algorithms are methods of this class. We decided to use system object because we can't use MATLAB function, otherwise we would run into some memory issues. Finally, this is the model we used to perform the pick and place operation. We used a manual switch to change between two pick points, our inverse kinematic solver, a MATLAB function to compute the joint configuration matrix and a state flow chart to execute the task step by step. This is the result we obtained. Starting from the initial point, the robot goes to the big point and we close the creeper to pick up the object. We then get to the place point by previously passing again from the initial point. Once the object is dropped, the robot goes once again into the initial configuration. We repeated the cycle for a different pick point. As we can see, the movement of the robot is much smoother than before. We also suggest securing the robot to the ground to avoid any issues. To 
find out more about this project, please visit our GitHub repository. Link is in description of the video. Thanks for watching.